Here is how to lock the differential on your Kyosho Mini Z using the original diff, making the mod reversible and especially virtually for free. So you bought Kyosho's Mini Z all wheel drive chassis did you? Well done, now let's upgrade this thing on a budget shall we? What's up everybody, Jeffrey McAvoy here, it is good of you to be back. My wallet has made the decision not to spend much on upgrading this car. I have other things in mind which might turn into another series for you. Before jumping into the differential, I suggest that you make a stop on Aura Napse's YouTube channel. This fellow has a fantastic way of dispensing useful knowledge about the Mini Z. He has shed some light on differentials for me while I was doing my research on the MA020S chassis prior to purchase. Check the link that I have left in the description, it should set you on the right path to useful knowledge. But come back here after eh, I haven't finished yet. I had a quick look for the pass that this gentleman suggested to buy and my wallet kindly told me to f off. So when the car finally arrived and after messing around with it for a couple of hours, I put it on my desk, whipped out my screwdriver set and dove right in. Pulled it completely apart, quite honestly. Even if you are new to the RC world or are not familiar with tools at all, don't be afraid to take things apart. It truly is as simple as can be, you cannot do any harm. The worst thing you could do is lose a screw, drop a part on the floor and never see it again or over tighten something. Just seat the screws lightly when you put it back together and that's it. Just look at that. It's the tiniest differential that I have ever seen in my life and I must admit that I'm quite impressed. Kyosho states that the gears are manufactured to be within a hundredth of a millimeter. The material used is a sort of plastic called polyoxymethylene, also known as acetal, polyacetal and polyformaldehyde. It is an engineering thermoplastic used in precision parts requiring high stiffness, low friction and excellent dimensional stability. Did I mention that you get bang for your buck with this thing? I made a point of honor to make this intervention reversible. Technically speaking, you could just pour epoxy inside your diff and that would be it, locked for eternity. However, not only is that messy and downright barbaric, it would also be locked for life and you would have to buy a new differential in case you wish to revert to the previous original setting. You never know, a locked differential might not fully correspond to your driving style or expectations. My first attempt of locking this diff was a failure. I ended up destroying the tiny satellite gears, also known as spider gears. What people do in real life when locking a diff on a budget is to weld planetary and spider gears together, crank that welding gear up to the max and weld the living daylights out of them. Downright barbaric as well mind you. So with that in mind I cut tiny strips of cardboard and wedged them in between the spider gears. That locked them together sure enough. However, upon driving on a carpet course that I made, the force feedback upon cornering was so great inside that wee differential that the cardboard got ripped apart with minutes, the gears crashed and self-destroyed. So don't do it that way, enough said. Here is what you can do to preserve your differential from self-destruction and have a fully reversible mod without much of a hassle and virtually for free. Carefully open the differential casing take out and safely store the satellite gears, grab a rubber o-ring roughly the size of the planetary gear, place one on both of them naturally, close the diff and you're golden. In order for this to work you should have to gently squeeze the diff casing so it can be screwed together again. The rubber o-rings squish into the teeth of the planetary gears, get squeezed in between that spider gear locating plate and lock the drive shafts together. How cool is that? If you want to go back, just remove the o-rings, place the spider gears in their location and voila! Fully reversible, lockable differential, virtually for free. All you need are a couple of o-rings. The kit I've shown you here is something that I have lying around the workshop. It costs less than a round of beers with the mates and it will probably last a lifetime. I could list and sell these to you, but I would feel like a total rip off charging anything more than a few cents for a pair of these. If you want to take this to the next level, you can experiment with the LSD effect. Limited slip differential you goof. 
You can try different o-ring thicknesses to attain a certain degree of slippage, turning your stock fitment into a limited slip differential. Or you can make a viscous coupling differential, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video. There is no such thing on the hop-up parts market, so my mod is pretty much something fresh for you to try, again virtually for free. That's it from me today, enjoy your fully locked differential. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please consider supporting my work by becoming a patron. There is some special content for you to enjoy there. We get to know each other on a more personal level and you become an active part of this production without having to do much else than enjoy what I produce for you. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, drop a like and leave a comment. I will be catching you all in the next video. Peace out everybody. The material used is a sort of plastic called polyoxima, polyxima, polio, polyoxy, polyoxymethylene, also known as acetal, polyacetal, and polyformaldehyde. Yes! Ha ha ha!